together. And we've each got a bigger group now. Isn't this exciting? I'm really, really psyched up about this. This is great. So um, I'm going to turn the meeting over to your president, Shelby Schaefer. And um, she's going to go through the agenda with you. Okay, um, first thing we're going to do is, um, can I have anybody who's a new leader pastor raise your hand, please? Okay, we're going to just go around the circle, starting with you. And they're just going to, um, if you can stand up and introduce yourself, just say your name and your program. Now, could the officers just please stand so that the new lead ambassadors, if they have any questions, they will know who you are and where to find them. Okay. So, as you see, Dylan's health tech. Shelby is in IT. Megan and Jess are in health tech. Send this group of your officers an email, and they'll be more than happy to find the answers. Okay. So now we're going to talk about community yeah. service. Um, does anybody have any idea for projects for February, March, April, or May? I know last year we did, yeah, we cleaned up the parks. Um, a group of you could work on thank you notes and making cookies, and then I can take you down one day, and we can go to the post office, and we can go to facilities and grounds, and down to the street department or whatever, and deliver that. And then the other group could sign up to help with the soup kitchen. Now, what they are talking about there is we have um, a food pantry, a soup kitchen that three days a week prepares meals for people in the area. I remember many times there would be like somebody, uh, a little girl that was eight years old, but she would have four or five of her young siblings with her, and she was in charge. And she would bring them all in, and they would have a hot meal, and then they would head home. They'd walk down just so they could get some hot food. What we would have to do is find out when, because a lot of churches, volunteers, a lot of groups like you guys volunteer and help. So we just need to find out when they have an opening and then get our names in to do that. And usually about um, eight to ten people work well done. Well, and I'm sure if there's like more than eight to ten people that want to do it, we could split it up into a couple different days. Right, so, absolutely, um, sure. So that anybody who wants to be involved with that can be involved with that. Um, Alex, did you say you had a community service? Yeah, um, <laughs> the hall and theater is always looking for people to clean their building after they have events, and um, my venture crew actually did that a couple times, yeah. and it worked really well. The hall is huge, so we could all go in there and work. Yeah. Okay, so... If no one else has any ideas for now, feel free to email those to me or Ms. Fain, and we'll kind of coordinate, decide, or figure out dates among probably the officers in Ms. Fain, and then we'll let you all know what's going on. And when then you can so sign you up can for what you would like to do. Yeah. Good idea. Um, another topic is uh, fundraiser. I know we have the um, Relay for Life walk coming up this that's spring. That's in May. That's, that's in the spring, but we yeah. need a um, charitable fundraiser to do for the winter.